Hey all. So in this lecture we will look into data driven testing. That means we will drive the data from external source into our JMeter scripts. Right? Okay. So where do we get this situation? First question. Okay, let me just tell you the real time scenario. Okay. Then we will first identify where exactly we need a uh, data driven and then we will try to fix it okay so let me take the uh, hp application server okay to explain this okay so here uh, where is temp folder hp community edition load runner We have seen it right how to start this application. Okay, so web tours and start server. Okay, okay, so server is started so that we can hit this URL now and can begin our testing. But right now we need to start our recording then only proxy understands and start it in this IP address right so let's start the recording one workbench right click add non test elements test script recorder so by this you all are familiar with this target controller so HTTP test script recorder put each group in a new controller add suggested excludes yep start okay so test record has started and now we can go ahead and hit this url right so once we log in into the home page of web tours so i'll click on administration link oh sorry not this i should click on sign up now link okay and now I'll provide the random some user ID okay whatever it may be password password first name f1 last name something else last read address xyz and city xyz okay click on continue Right, so thank you ER EW2 for registering and welcome to WebTours family. Okay, so it successfully got registered and it says that welcome to this family. Right, so I'll stop the recording now. Okay, so in your workplace, there is a requirement that assume that just there is application like this and you need thousands of users okay to test this registration scenario for that you need to pass thousand i mean thousand usernames thousand passwords thousand first names last names and street address right to check this registration you need to pass the data for each and every iteration so thousand times you need to pass all these data okay to make this uh, load on registration works okay to make this work you need to do, do this so how you will pass those data there is bunch of information you need to bring out to the, your jmeter okay that is impossible for us to create each and every uh, for each and every iteration you cannot go and just create uh, one flow okay if there are thousand you cannot go ahead and do thousand flows so there should be some mechanism where the data driving should happen okay so now here we will uh, use the external source put all the data there and we will link that external source to jmeter so that and i will give in the test plan that run thread thread group some thousand times and for each iteration each thread picks one row from that excel sheet and it will get registered okay so that's how you can achieve this scenario okay putting load on registration 
we can achieve by just pulling the data from external source and uh, iterating into it okay let's see how we can bring down the external source and how we can connect it to jmeter right so for that for first let me make the script ready and run it once to make sure that it's getting registered test plan add red group i'll paste all of them and let me make a user friendly what this controller contains uh, welcome sign off we need just only one request that's it registration request we need that's all uh, yeah i guess no not even this okay so this is the only request we actually need if you see that server name it directly hits that url and it enters you can remove all this the last three So remove this and let's say the name of it as registration let me put same for controller okay so as usual I'll add one listener so that we can see in the output PO results tree and save it with the help of data drive in okay let's run it okay so because we have used only one request here this is the registration and this is a sample result request it went er ew password but i guess it should throw error for us uh, please choose username and password combination for your account what happened it should throw error because with this information we already registered right with this username we are providing again same username so it should give us something saying that it's already registered okay please choose another significant number to end of your username will create unique name okay right now it's already registered so it's asking other one okay let me change it to er w3 something like that and run it now registration and response okay now we can see thank you okay thank you for registering and welcome to web tools family so let's put an assertion here and make sure that script is passing or failing okay uh, let's put thank you or welcome okay let's go with welcome if it says welcome that means it's logged in right where do I need add assertion for this registration step registration step right click add assertion uh, response assertion we need to check text response it contains what so welcome right response session welcome now run it again it will fail because er3 is now already registered okay now if you run again it says it should fail okay fail because there is no welcome er3 is the value which we registered just before the iteration now give 4 and see it will pass okay, remove all for confusion yep it passed because it's a unique one so now so this is a basic step we have achieved this now what we need is i need to pass the information from excel okay all this er ew password are there right so i want to pass this from an excel sheet or somewhere from external source okay i don't want to hard code here in this request if tomorrow i want to register some hundred users I'll just give thread group right run it for 100 to users okay so each user should pick up some each data from my external source and it should provide the values here and it should get registered 
okay now let's see how we can achieve without hard coding values into the request so the main aim of this data driven testing is we are maintaining the data in the separate sheet rather than hard coding here in the request right so we'll see that in the next lecture so how to achieve that with the help of jmeter